Avoid dialysis. Six warning signs of kidney disease written on your face. When you see those persistent dark circles and puffy eyes in the mirror, it's natural to blame them on simple causes. Seniors often think it's just poor sleep, eye strain, or seasonal allergies, believing you're dealing with everyday aging issues. However, these everyday explanations can be like focusing on a stain on the ceiling while ignoring the leak in the roof above. Sometimes, what you're seeing isn't a skin issue at all. It can be a physical alarm that your kidneys, your body's critical filtration system, is starting to fail, potentially leading to chronic kidney disease and the eventual need for dialysis. That quiet alarm is the first of six warning signs of kidney damage on the face that we are about to investigate. We'll show you how to read these signs and, more importantly, arm you with the practical tools to begin reinforcing your body's foundation. So before we pull back the curtain, take a moment to think. What changes on your face lately made you start paying attention to your health? Share what you've observed in the comments below. We read every single one, and we believe that your insights help build a community where we all learn from each other's experiences. Just so you know, everything in this video is grounded in peer-reviewed research, completely free from marketing bias or miracle cure claims. We've sifted through the science so you can make smart, informed decisions about your health. 6. Puffy Morning Eyes Kicking off our countdown at number 6 is one of the most misunderstood signs, puffy morning eyes. People often blame this on poor sleep or getting older. The shocking truth? It's not about how many hours you've slept. It's about what gravity reveals when you lie down all night. So what exactly is gravity revealing? It's exposing a microscopic breakdown happening deep inside your kidney's filtering system. Think of a crucial protein called albumin as the glue that keeps fluid properly contained within your blood vessels. When your kidneys are damaged, this protein starts washing away into your urine, a condition called proteinuria. Without enough albumin, your blood loses its ability to hold onto fluid, causing water to leak into surrounding tissues. The loose, delicate tissue around your eyes offers the least resistance, which is why the puffy eyes often appear first in nephrotic syndrome, especially noticeable in the morning. Additionally, damaged kidneys become intrinsically unable to excrete salt and water effectively, creating a double problem. Less glue to hold fluid in blood vessels, plus more total fluid in your system, a combination that triggers swelling. And why does this seemingly small leak matter so much? Because this isn't just a cosmetic issue. This persistent protein loss may indicate a serious condition called nephrotic syndrome. It does more than cause swelling. It fundamentally thickens your blood, priming it to form dangerous clots that can lead to a stroke or pulmonary embolism. So, while repairing that dam is a job for your doctor, your first line of defense isn't a complex procedure, but a simple, powerful action to reduce the pressure on your system. A low-salt diet can help limit fluid retention and edema. It's like reducing the water pressure against a weakened dam, giving your entire system breathing room to stabilize. 5. Pale Skin At number 5, we address the pale, washed-out skin that so often accompanies deep fatigue. It's a look that sends many people reaching for iron supplements. But for those with kidney concerns, the real issue isn't a shortage of raw materials. It's a breakdown in the body's chain of command. Think of it as your body's energy supply chain. Your kidneys are the command center, issuing a critical hormone called EPO, or erythropoietin. EPO is the order that tells your bone marrow, the factory, to produce red blood cells, the delivery trucks for oxygen. When your kidneys are failing, that order never gets sent. The factory slows down, and with fewer oxygen trucks on the road, your heart is forced to work overtime, leading to a damaging thickening of the heart muscle known as LVH. And the data shows this isn't just a risk, it's a near certainty as the disease progresses. In the early stages, anemia is an unlikely visitor, affecting less than 1 in 10 people. But as the kidneys decline, like when one has chronic kidney disease, or CKD for short, that risk climbs relentlessly. 
According to N. Haynes' data from 2007 to 2010, anemia prevalence increases from 8.4% at CKD stage 1 to 53.4% at stage 5. More recent analysis from the Swedish Renal Registry shows even higher rates among CKD patients, with anemia affecting 60% of non-dialysis patients and 93% of dialysis-dependent patients. This progression can occur when kidney disease advances without proper medical management. It's crucial to understand. Diet alone cannot restore the production order from your kidneys. That is a job only medical intervention can perform. However, you play a vital role in stocking the warehouse. Ensure your diet is rich in iron, preferably from plant-based sources like beans, nuts, dark chocolate, legumes, and spinach. Pair it with vitamin C to unlock its absorption, giving your body the best possible chance to build new red blood cells once that order is restored. For CKD patients, this means pairing iron-rich foods with strawberries, pineapple, bell peppers, or cauliflower during the same meal. And hey, if this feels helpful so far, let us know you're out there by tapping that like button. It tells us to keep making content just like this. 4. Persistent Dark Circles At number 4, we tackle a familiar frustration, the stubborn dark circles under the eyes. For so many of us, they're a constant presence. No amount of sleep seems to touch them. That's because they often aren't truly a sign of tiredness. They are an echo of a battle happening deep inside your body. First, the same sodium and water retention that causes morning puffiness. Think of your skin as a canvas. This can create subtle shadows and contribute directly to the darkening effect that one notices when looking in the mirror. Second, there's the anemia effect. As we explained before, when your kidneys fail to produce enough EPO hormone, triggering anemia. Think of your skin as a canvas. This kidney-related anemia strips away the vibrant, rosy undertones, leaving a pale, washed-out base. This facial pallor creates a sharper contrast with any underlying pigmentation or blood vessels in the periorbital area, making dark circles appear more prominent. It's a two-part process, a loss of healthy color and an addition of exhaustion's shadow. The connection between dark circles and kidney concerns is indirect but clinically significant. In a 2014 study, approximately 50% of patients with periorbital hyperpigmentation have anemia, and many report improvement in dark circles once their anemia is treated. But this is where that simple frustration becomes a critical diagnostic clue, especially when it appears with our number six signal, puffy eyes. Think of it this way. The puffiness signals a structural problem. The dam is leaking. But the dark circles tell the story of the resources. A crisis of energy from anemia and a buildup of toxic waste. When you see both, you're not just seeing two separate signs. You're seeing a complete picture of a system under siege. This complete picture demands a complete strategy. To support the leaking dam, control your sodium intake to ease the pressure. And if anemia is identified as a contributing factor, working with your healthcare team on proper treatment with iron supplements or EPO therapy can improve skin color and reduce the contrast that makes dark circles appear more noticeable. 3. Dry, itchy skin. At number 3, we confront one of the most tormenting symptoms of kidney disease. An unrelenting itch on the face that defies every cream, every lotion, every remedy you've tried. You've spent countless nights scratching, applying every moisturizer in the pharmacy, taking antihistamines by the handful, but the itch always comes back. Here's the frustrating possibility you need to understand. You've been fighting the wrong battle, that relentless itch you feel on your face and across your body. It's not starting in your skin. It's starting in your blood and nervous system. The science reveals this isn't a simple toxin buildup story. Modern research identifies multiple mechanisms. Uremic toxin accumulation, systemic inflammation, neurological disruption, and severe skin barrier dysfunction from atrophied oil and sweat glands. 
High phosphorus levels in the blood due to damaged kidneys are considered one of the primary culprits. When phosphorus levels are elevated, it combines with calcium to form calcium phosphate deposits, which can trigger itching by activating inflammatory pathways. The data reveals just how widespread itching really is. A 2018 study reviewed 42 studies including 11,800 dialysis patients and revealed that 55% of patients suffer from this condition. A 2023 study from the DOPPS International Cohort with almost 8,000 hemodialysis patients showing 37 to 40% experience, moderate to extreme intensity. But here's what makes it truly devastating. 84% of patients report daily or nearly daily itching, with 60% suffering for more than a year. Many patients report this symptom significantly impacts their quality of life and can even affect dialysis treatment compliance. So, fighting this internal battle requires a powerful two-layer defense. Layer 1. Attack the internal static. The most important nutritional intervention is strict phosphorus control. This means avoiding not just dairy products, red meat, and chocolate, but especially processed foods containing phosphate additives, the kind of phosphorus your body absorbs almost completely. Layer 2. Rebuild your skin's damaged fortress. Because kidney disease causes severe dry skin that weakens your protective barrier, consistent moisturizing becomes critical. Apply fragrance-free, Hypoallergenic moisturizers immediately after lukewarm, not hot or cold, showers while your skin is still damp. This isn't just comfort care, it's strategic barrier repair. Curious about the science behind it all? We've linked the studies that support everything we've shared. You'll find them down in the description box. 2. Sallow Uramic Hue Number 2 focuses on concerning facial signs that many people often misinterpret. When we see yellowing skin, our minds jump to one place, the liver. But for this particular sign, that assumption can be dangerously wrong. It's essential to distinguish this condition from jaundice caused by liver problems. In liver-related jaundice, both the skin and the whites of the eyes turn distinctly yellow. In contrast, with kidney-related skin discoloration, the whites of the eyes typically remain white. Also, Unlike the bright yellow of jaundice, this presents as a more muted, but distinguishing between these conditions requires proper medical evaluation rather than visual assessment alone. So why the strange grayish-yellow color and not a bright jaundice? Think of it like a tragic work of art. First, as we saw with kidney-related anemia, it erases your skin's natural, rosy primer, leaving a pale, lifeless canvas. Then, there are uremic toxins and waste products in the skin. They're multiple compounds that normally would be filtered by healthy kidneys. As impaired kidneys fail to remove them, these excess compounds begin to seep onto that canvas from behind, staining it not with a vibrant yellow, but with the sickly hue of internal pollution, almost metallic appearance. Plus, brownish hyperpigmentation commonly develops in sun-exposed areas, due to increased melanin production from certain hormones that poorly functioning kidneys can't filter out. So, how do you stop your face from staining itself from the inside out? You have to turn down the faucet that produces these waste pigments. This means working closely with your healthcare team to manage your overall kidney function and potentially delay the need for renal replacement therapy, like dialysis. Management often includes adjusting your protein intake, in a 2013 study, CKD patients switched from a mild protein restriction diet to a strict one with essential amino acid supplements. This led to a 37% decrease in blood levels of the uremic toxin indoxyl sulfate while still maintaining proper protein metabolism. By reducing the source of uremic toxins, you give your face a chance to clear its canvas from within. One. Uremic frost. And finally, at number one, we arrive at the most serious and shocking sign of all. Seniors may notice this rare but serious sign appearing on the face, neck, and chest. 
almost like frost from winter morning. Now imagine that frost isn't from the cold outside. It is crystallizing from the inside out. This is uremic frost, and it is your body's own internal waste becoming visible on your skin. The science behind it is starkly simple. Think of a glass of oversaturated salt water sitting in the sun. As the water evaporates, salt crystals form and coat the glass. Now imagine that happening inside your body, but instead of salt, it's urea, a toxic waste product that should be filtered out by healthy kidneys. The mechanism is starkly simple yet terrifying. When blood urea nitrogen levels soar above 200 mg per deciliter, roughly 10 times normal levels, your blood becomes completely saturated with toxins. Your kidneys have failed so completely that your body desperately attempts to expel these poisons through sweat glands. As the urea-laden sweat evaporates from your skin, it leaves behind white to yellowish crystalline deposits that look exactly like frost. In documented cases, 8 out of 9 patients developed these crystals primarily on their faces, particularly in the beard area, along with the neck and trunk. The face becomes the primary canvas because it has the highest density of sweat glands and the thinnest skin, making it the most efficient route for toxic elimination. Now, let us be unequivocally clear. This is not a skin condition to be managed at home. It is not a time to wait and see or try home remedies. Uremic frost is a sign of complete kidney failure, a life-threatening medical emergency. The only correct action is to go to the emergency room. Life-saving dialysis is required without delay. In the modern medical era, seeing uremic frost should be as rare as witnessing lightning strike. An old study found it in just 3% of CKD patients. However, when it appears, it demands the same urgent, immediate response you'd give any other life-or-death emergency. Conclusion We've journeyed from the subtle whispers of puffy eyes to the blaring sirens of uremic frost. Through it all, one truth has become clear. Facial signs serve as important health indicators that may help detect kidney disease before dialysis becomes necessary. The ultimate lesson here isn't a list of symptoms to fear, but a vital language to understand. The language your body uses to communicate. Learning to listen to those early whispers is the most profound act of self-care and the surest way to prevent the late-stage screams. Note that the facial signs we'll discuss today can have many different causes, most of which are not related to kidney problems. However, when multiple signs appear together, or when they're persistent and unexplained, they may warrant medical evaluation. Never attempt self-diagnosis based on facial appearance alone. Seniors should maintain regular healthcare checkups for proper monitoring. With this new understanding, we'd love to hear from you. What is one small proactive step you plan to take this week to listen to your body more closely? Share your first step with us in the comments below. We read every single one and are here to support you on this journey. We want to thank you for being here, for listening, for having the courage to embark on this journey of discovering what truly benefits your health. A journey that isn't easy but is worth more than anything else. Hit the bell icon and turn on all notifications so you never miss a life-saving video. The sooner you spot kidney issues, the more you can do to keep things under control. If you're unsure about your kidney health and haven't been in a good shape recently, check out the video on the screen. Here, we cover all the possible symptoms, helping you spot kidney failure and take action effectively if needed. See you there. Stay informed. Stay healthy.